All right, I'm uh, doing head gaskets on this thing. It's that 3.7 liter Jeep Grand Cherokee. I think they're in, a, in some Mitsubishis and Dodges and stuff. Uh, I'm down to having to undo the uh, exhaust from the heads, and I can pull the heads, put the new gaskets in. I got a lot of cleaning up to do. You got O-ring valve cover gaskets, but they use that much silicone. And I mean, it's everywhere. Look. Oh, I'm parked down there. That's all the tools it took to take it apart. Uh, oh, tape measure too I used. But that was to measure my crankshaft depth bolt. That's a lot of parts. And that's the battery there, of course. But I used the tape measure to measure the, how long that was with an eight millimeter on it. Is that the eight? Yeah, it's eight millimeter quarter inch. And I, I posted a video earlier of it. Well, I'll just redo it again to kind of show. I stuck the eight millimeter on my extension. Put it in there like that. I think this is the wrong extension. Yeah, that's the longer extension, but I used a, a six inch. Uh, yeah, that may have been the may have been the one I used. I did that in conjunction with two jaw pliers to remove the harmonic balancer. I didn't have the harmonic balancer, crankshaft pulley, whatever you want to call it. I didn't have the right tool to pull it, so I improvised, and uh, good little tip right there, or a trick, or whatever you want to call it, that water pump made in the U, or water pump, oil pump made in the U.S. of A. Huh, imagine that. Yep, I'm going to be back in the morning to snip everything else off there. I just got to take the, uh, Exhaust off the head. Um, I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna leave the manifolds on there. I think I'm gonna pull the flange bolts. There's only two of them on each side. It's a lot easier than trying to fight them, I think. And if I snap them, at least they won't be inside the head. Um, I'm doing it on both sides. Um, their head gaskets are bad on both sides. So uh, depending on if the heads are warped or not. If it's just gonna go back together tomorrow or not. And I'll take a couple little, little videos and share them on progress as I'm going. You see, I kinda, I kinda got my timing marks lined up a little bit. Uh, I took this apart and uh, the person these people bought it from said, oh, I put a timing belt on it or timing chain in it and all that and this and that. And yeah, he sure did. And it wasn't a timing mark hardly lined up at all. I mean, they're kinda, Kind of finicky with the be what three three chains on here and guides and tensioners and man kind of a nightmare but I should have sent it to the shop I should not have took this job 